Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. Today I have a Goodwill Bins haul. Now, it's not a full haul. I mean, it's as full as I had it. But I only was there for like two hours. So, and also, ours doesn't have the one that's near me now. The new one. Um, it doesn't have as much hard good as many hard goods as as the other one on the other side of town. So um, I'm going to need to go there soon. But um, yeah, so this one doesn't have nearly as much. And the clothing ones are so loaded. First of all, my back was killing me. Um, but my arms, I cannot do all that with the clothes. And I wish that they kept clothes and like textiles separate because I just am looking for the textiles, but no. So I didn't really do that well on that end until just right in the last like 20 minutes, I hit the plus size mother load. And so, um, I think I got everything for me. But I'm not sure. I don't remember now because I just started throwing things. So let's just take a look. Um, this is possibly not what I thought. I thought it was a swimsuit top, but I think it's a it's a I think it's a workout top. No, maybe it is. I don't know. But um. I thought, look at that, it, back, it took me a while because it's kind of confusing, right? But that's cute, I thought, anyway. So, I got that. Um, I got, oh, excuse me, this one still has tags on it. Um, for where? Perfect Price Catherine's, that's where... A lot of them were from Catherine's, um, which I don't really shop at. I don't even know where it's located. But um, anyhow, it says twenty two fifty, and um, I didn't even get nearly half of what they had out. This they had out, um, like they had somebody had tried to sell all this on a rummage sale, and I'm I'm surprised they didn't sell it. They must have just not had a good rummage because at three dollars for a new top. Um, with, I mean, all the tags on it still. And, um, so this is, uh, well, we don't have to talk about sizes, <laughs> but, um, it's white. Oh, is it white or off white? I think this one's white, which I'm, which I, I, I was happy about. And brand new. And I like that little design and I love a V-neck. A V-neck is where it's at for me. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I cannot believe how much I got. I don't usually get that much in clothing because I'm just not, you know, but I, I've been wearing the same clothes forever. So, um, Joan Vass or Vass, I'm not sure. Um, never heard of that. And it's a, a little bit of a, like a warmer, maybe for winter, you know, a little bit like a three fourths, uh, sleeve. And I like that color. So, um, this didn't have a size on it. It didn't have any kind of tags, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it was, there was tags inside. Yep, here's one. Oh yeah, it'll fit me. It's probably going to be big on me, actually. So, um, this is a V-neck sweatshirt with like the three fourths sleeves and like the um, pockets like a hoodie would have. I love that. <laughs> and it's my color. <laughs> so I know this isn't the best lighting because it's behind me, but you know, I, f I was wanting to do this before and I kept dozing off. So now's the time. I can't believe how much I got. Um, I love this one. 
This Some of these might be a little big on me, but I'd rather have them too big. So, that I love that, like, tie kind of um, whatever feature. I can't believe I got this one. But I did. Um, it's by the Avenue. And it goes all the way up like that. Now, I don't know, you know, how that'll be. I don't do well with things that zip down. But this is only one of those, like, quarter zips or whatever. I've never had one. So I thought, well, that might, that I think will be all right. And it's kind of, it needs to be washed, but it's like um, part polar fleece or whatever. And then it's like kind of the ribbed um, the arms are like ribbed. Um, let me see what it says for the, it's a, a polyester rayon, but, um, yeah, so I just thought that that would be neat. I can't believe, I, you know, I keep saying it. Um, I got a pajama. I got, actually, I might have two pajamas in there. Um, because I think I got one at a different this one doesn't I have a tag on it, but I know I know it'll fit me because it's it's pretty big. Actually, I don't think I got the other one, but I'm I like this one a lot, so yay. And this one I'm surprised I got. In in a sense, I was thinking, oh, I'll get it for one of you guys, you know, because it's very boho, and the, it's a very it's a bigger size, but I don't know. Look at that, how cute with the colors, right? So I have to see how this is going to look on me first. Because I, you know, I like them, those bell sleeves. and So I'll, I'll try that on first. This, <laughs> I'm going to sell. This is a Benetton. I think this is like the old stuff that came back now that the youngsters are liking I think so I'm gonna see I'm gonna try to sell that on Facebook marketplace I'll see it's so cute it is so cute I mean anybody out my there my age might remember like when we were in uh, mostly uh, I think it was mostly college age partly high school maybe and then um college and at the limited they had the forenza forenza sweaters oh those were my favorite the v-neck and you would like wear like a tank top or something underneath it and they also had vests I didn't like that as much. And then, like, um, the Avenue came out with their brand of it was Vene Venezia. Venezia or something. Venezia. Anyway. Oh, I wish those would come back. Because I loved, I loved that, you know, it, it had, like, a deep, like this. It had a deep V, and you wore, like, a tank top underneath it. So, anyhow, I think that, I'm, I don't know. We'll see how I can do on that. But, and then this is for, probably for one of you. We'll see. <laughs> I got, I got to see how it looks on me. But it's, um, cause it doesn't have, well, it does have, it is from Love Stitch. I don't know what Love Stitch is, but that's the brand. And it says one size fits all, or, you know, most. Um, so we'll see. I'll try it on, but it's got that, um. Burnout velvet, you know, and so it's like this blue and this like a orange, um, like a like a bur burnt orange, I guess. I don't know. It's the best way, to, but I like it. Oh, I like it. I think um, it's. I don't know. I like it a lot, and it'll look good with jeans. Yeah, I'm probably gonna keep it if it fits. I mean, if it fits, I will definitely keep it. I do like it a lot. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I got any other clothing, but, um, so anyhow, I got, oh my gosh, 
I did not see that this says Camp Alice Chester. <laughs> and it's this, I mean, you don't see that anyhow, because if you would roll it up, and then you'd have, you know, whatever, a really cute bandana or scarf in the, all the colors. Um, then I got this. It's by Roxy, and it it I need to give it a, a little clean in the front. I saw a couple of spots, but um, and it's got so many tags, it's crazy. Um, but it's it's you know Roxy. I mean, like how many times do you need to tell me? <laughs> um, it's got an inside zipper, and then it's got this, and I don't think I'll be keeping it. I doubt that it's big enough. Um, but anyhow, I really was buying it for one of you for like, a, a um, you know, a flea market purse. Cause these are great. You don't have to, your hands free and you don't have anything like a crossbody. I I'm done with that now for flea marketing cause it pulls on me too much. So anyhow, then there's the, I don't it sounds like it's loose, but it's not. And then, you know, this will open it up more. So I'll take a look at it. We'll see. The um, There's the little thing that tucks that in if you have extra, which I never really have. <laughs> but, yeah. Super cute, I thought. This is super cute. It's a felted purse, which is, I mean, this is a great one. I, I mean, I'm just like crazy. Wow. Um, it's got like this color on the back and then this, it's like a mix on the front. That color carries over and then it also is down there. Then it's got a different color here and then a striped color down there. I, this and, and then look at this cute flower. Okay, and then look at the pole. The pole has a little thing. And then the strap. I have never seen a felted purse with a long... Yeah. Actually, this is totally... Maybe not quite for me, but this could totally be a crossbody for most women. Um, But it's so comfy and it's such a neat um, shape. So then it's got, you know, cause somebody made this, they felted it, you know, and so it's got the, um, the Velcro closure there, but it's also got the zipper closure. Okay. Right here. So, you know, with the little, little doohickey and, um, sure enough, there you go. <laughs> and I'll open it for you to see. And it doesn't have any um, pockets, but it's a nice size. It's a really good size, actually. And it's a beautiful purse. I don't know if you're familiar with felted items, but like a coin purse or a makeup bag would go for like 20 bucks and if it's felted. So, I mean, this is probably going to be a nice price on that. Um, then, let's see here. I got this towel. Um, I don't even know if I have, if there was a brand, I mean, not that I care, but, um, it's for kitchen, Christmas in the kitchen. <laughs> Cause it looked, um, vintagey to me. So I like that. And I spent 27, 76. And that was five books that I got that my stuff is, my, I don't, I, my, um, my, um, tripod is in the other room. So I've got the books right here <laughs> and they'll be in my sale Thursday. So you won't, you won't need to see these books because if you're at the sale, there you go. And if you're not at the sale, then you won't know what you missed. <laughs> So I got five books that were $5 and 
And then um, the rest of the stuff was twenty one thirty one. So twenty one thirty one, just for the clothes alone, would have been a fantastic price. So next up, I got um. Okay, I got this. So they, you know, put a price tag on because these things come from. Um, you know, they're the um, items that were at Goodwill and didn't do well, which is crazy. Um, but I don't even know if that's really the way it goes all the time. But this was from Hallmark, $9.99. Garland of Good Deeds. And it's super cute. It's So it's a paper chain of Christmas kindness. And it's like a, that's a book. Like that. Isn't that funny? So the book, it opens like that. <laughs> and then you've got this really pretty garland. And it's like different things on each, you know, on this side. And then this, like, they all are like, well, that one's not. Maybe that's the opening page. And so there it is. And it's all, they're perforated. They're all perforated. And it says, um, well, let's look at it the right way. Gather up warm clothes you've outgrown and donate them. And um, and then you like you make that like a ring. See the pretty papers too. Um, and the like this. That's what your it's gonna look like. And it's got the pretty paper, and then you tear that off or whatever. So make a playlist of the family's favorite holiday songs. Make a Christmas card to thank your garbage collector for their hard work. Drop a load of groceries off at a local food bank. And then has one where you write your own good deed in. And um, and there, there, there's just a whole bunch of them. And they're so cute. All these different papers that it's on. Really cute. And how many are there? I don't know if it says. It's weird that it doesn't say, but anyhow, so cute. I got, um, I found, okay, I found a little, like a, um, sandwich bag, okay? A bigger one. And it was filled. And I saw this. And... Anybody that is a reseller knows that you can find the coolest thing and it, uh, nine times out of ten it's missing its stopper. So I have taken to like collecting these kind of sto these stoppers. So mostly they're the kind that are like kind of, I, I don't know, um, you know, like Pile down, you know, the thing. But this one is a twisty one, so it, like, might screw into a spot. But, you know, it doesn't... I, it probably came from, like, a decanter. Because it was with a bunch of, like, liquor items. So, I didn't care. I was just, like, this cost me, what, you know, like, 10 cents. I don't know. So, I... Probably more than that, but a little, you know. But look at that. I mean, it's so it's super cool. But then I saw these, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got more of these, yay. Um, and so there were two only in there, but these are those things that when you were when we were kids, anyway, they had these. So you would push that all the way down, okay? And that would go on top of a bottle of soda that didn't get finished. And then, you know, it would... The, you'd push it down as far as you had to go, you know, to cap it or whatever. And then, see, it says push down when not in use. So it should be down until you use it, and then you'd pop it up. So it's super cool. And the company is... Um, it's made in USA. It's Fizz Whiz Bottle Cap. <laughs> it's called the Fizz Whiz Bottle Cap. Keep refrigerated. Do not shake beverage. <laughs> so I got two of those. And then um, I found a... Well, this is separate. I found this. And I just thought it was cute. 
I don't know what it is or what it's for. I just thought, oh, this is cute, like to to hook onto a purse, you know, like on the corner on the angle en end of a purse. Can't talk. Then I found a bag, another bag with a bunch of jewelry, and a lot of it was. Um, probably from like, eh, like five, eight, five, six, seven, eight years ago. And it was that, like a lot of those, um, those enamel flower, like forever one kind of jewelry. Right. And like some of those like choker ones that were all like those enamel flowered necklaces that were done. And that's what it was mostly in there. And then I saw this and I was like, wait a minute. Okay, because Mama has three Alex and Annie bracelets, so I know what it looks like, and I know they're sterling. So I saw it, I got it up close to my face, and I was like, yep, Alex and Annie. Annie. Some people say Annie. Alex and Annie. I don't care. Whatever. Say what you want. And uh, sure, there it is, Alex and Annie. And then on the other one, it's uh, got like a number, you know, and then the other one's just because they have all these like little added ones, you know, that go with the per bracelet. But so then it's like the little recycle thing. And then the other one is like a little flag. Um, and, you know, uh, then the other one is the Alex and Annie thing. Anyhow, so this one, the the um, the charm is just this red stone. Um, but it, it's, I don't know enough about the stones. I never had a stone on one of mine, but I'll have this, I'll be checking this out. Um, it was a little crooked and it's, it, it needs to be cleaned, but, um, yay, I'll be able to sell this or whatever. Um, and then I got these rings. So. You know, did I show this close enough? I hope. Oh, right there. Isn't that neat? And it's kind of like, you know, like bubbly. <laughs> so I I got these three rings out of there. This one is like a hammered copper. And it doesn't have, you know, anything on it. it just is this hammered copper. And I thought that was cool. And then I got these two because, I mean, they're tiny, but I couldn't, I was like, oh, they might be something. I couldn't, I, I wasn't going to try to figure it out at the time. Um, and it's probably nothing, but this might be marcasite. I'm not sure. Um, it goes all the way around. So it's really pretty. And then this one, also, I'm not sure, I think it, uh, I think, I don't know, I can't, I, I need my little thingamajiggy and see if this is marked of anything. And if these stones could possibly be anything. But um, so there's that. Okay. Um, and somebody's probably going, oh my God, you can totally tell. And I, I don't, I can't tell. I don't wear a diamond even. So, you know, because it's been a while. Um, so I also got this. There were some paints. There were a few paints and stuff. Um, and like acrylic and like, not like the acrylic, like crafty paints the like artist kind in the tube. There were just a few and I, they were loose and I don't really know anything about that, but I do know about this. And I also know that, um, Dick Blick is, um, so, um, I am going to take this one, go to Danny's and see how proud of me she'll be. <laughs> so yeah, there's just this little bit of whatever crusted around there. So, um, it's, I mean, it's like brand new. Um, and this 
this is not cheap, this Dick Blick stuff. So, yeah, it's a high performance at a value price, whatever. Um, eight ounces, so, what, half a pound? Cost me, like, 60 cents, maybe? I don't know. I think, what was it, a dollar... Fifty nine a pound, dollar fifty nine a pound, so it was like yeah maybe eighty five cents or eighty cents I should say. I think that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> so uh, I got I got this. Um, now I don't know if it's older because the back of it it has a Coles. I don't know what Kohl's receipts look like anymore, but the fact that this is like, like a, a, a sticker one, I'm not sure. Like I said, I have it. I, it's been forever. I don't know. It was $7.99 in the store. It's Kurt Adler. So it's Kurt Adler. It's possibly vintage and it's Snoopy, which is a collectible, a collection. A collectible in and of itself. A lot of people love Snoopy. So I'll um, do a, an image search and I'll find out, you know, like what the age and value are. Um, there were a lot of gift bags. The funny thing is they all had, you know, these price tags and I am, I am kind of I gotta say, I'm kind of surprised because if it came like on um, Orange Day, I if I'm at the if I'm at Goodwill and I see I see um, gift bags with a tag and it's the color of the day or week, I buy those. I mean, I look at I look for um, gift wrap too. Matter of fact, this humongous roll. Of gift wrap that I still have a ton of. I got it at Goodwill and I think I got it for 50 cents. So, and it could be off season, you know, it doesn't, you gotta, you gotta be looking and you gotta be thinking. So I see that I see a couple and they were like, uh, um, like Bergen or, um, hot pink, you know, like a really pretty pink and black and stuff. And I'm like, Oh, I'll grab those good for, you know, um, birthdays or whatever. I mean, it's not too often that I need, you know, but then all of a sudden I started thinking, wait a minute, I have a, I have a flea market Tuesday or when, Sunday. So then I was like, oh, I should be grabbing some more of these. So I didn't grab all of them, but I did grab a lot. Okay. So I've got <laughs> this Merry Christmas because it's, who cares? <laughs> you know, these are good bags. Um, Lindy Bowman or Bowman. I don't know, but you know, you know, the, um, the ones at the Dollar Tree, they fall apart a lot. So I'm not a fan, but, um, these are better. I don't know. This one's distributed by all in the cards. I don't know. Anyhow, it says, Oh, what fun. It's smaller, cute, very cute. Um, and then this one, just plain white. Okay. Um, this one, now this one, it still has, you know, it had like a, what do you call it? Like a staple mark right there. And it's still, you know, what's funny is that they did use this and it still has a price tag on it from Goodwill. And I'm not saying you don't want, you know, like that really matters, but this is from, it's Spritz. It says 2011 Target. So this is from 11 years ago at Target. And so somebody had put, see, that's why I, when I use the gift bags, I put the, I put the tag on the, um, on the tissue paper on the inside. Just a little tip. <laughs> and, um, anyhow, I'm not going to have an easy time of this right now. But, um, so I'm just going to take that off. Not that it matters because I'm just using it to pack orders, but you know, it's just, you know, a thing. 
Now this, these are some nice bags. Bag dream. They're recycled bags or, you know, made with recycled whatever. Um, and boy, oh boy, they're, they're, um, they feel kind of cool. Like, you know, like, uh, like from a, um, like a gift shop would have or something. I don't know. Anyhow, there's that one. And then this one, this one says Hallmark on it. And so, you know, this bag would have probably been a few bucks at the Hallmark store or something. And, um, I still, I can't get over the fact that these, and I mean, there's a chance that they were used and then they were just very gently used and then donated. Um, yeah, I mean, that's definitely a good possibility. Um, but, and you know, you're like, why are you taking all those off? Yeah, because I do care about that. I don't know. It's to me, it's just a little less tacky that way. I don't know. Um, so there's that. And then another one of these black ones that's also from, um, that bag dream, whatever that was, um, distribu distributed by bag dream. I don't know. It's like a recycled one. And then <laughs> another one of the Hallmark pink ones. And I had started taking the bag or the, the tag off when I was there. And I was like, oh yeah, I was just going to like do it while I was picking them out. And then all of a sudden I started seeing so many and that's why I just didn't do any more um, than this first one, in, which I, I didn't even finish until just now. So yeah, another pink one. Hopefully I'll need these, you know, on uh, Sunday. <laughs> and then there's um, this one, which is, um, gosh, what is this? Does it have a tag on it? Because it doesn't look like it does. Nope, it sure doesn't. It's kind of cool looking, or uh, feel, it's maybe, I don't know what it is. It's chartreuse, and it's a little smaller. And then this one is red, and it's even smaller yet, and it's not, it's just got all this caution stuff, but Amscan, I don't know what that is doesn't matter little bag and, and I got this one okay so the funny thing about this one is and I don't know see so some of you might even recognize this I did not and oh this is like got a um, <laughs> Santa Claus sticker um, label thing on it so I'm gonna have to um, I'm going to have to work on that later, but it's from 2017. I don't know. Anyhow, it's, um, oh, wow. These are long. Why is this, why is this so long? <laughs> They're cute though. Anyhow, it, it's a Vera Bradley, right? Now you think, well, what's the big deal about getting a Vera Bradley bag, which, oh my gosh, that's so cute. It even has Vera Bradley at the very bottom. Well, the reason I got that is because one of the things I found was this. And it's Vera Bradley. It says it on there. And, um, you know, opens up. And it's got the, um, the Vera Bradley uh, name on the, um, on the tag. Um, on the, it's like got VeraBradley.com or something. I don't know. And I don't know what this is. What is this little stretchy thing? I mean, would that be for like your lipstick? Maybe that's possible. Cause it's too big for, that's probably what it is for your lip stuff. And then it's got a little pocket on the side also. So for such a small, um, thing, it's very, um, mega useful. So I thought, well, you know, that would be cute if I put it in here. Right? So, because it fits. So that's what I did. That's what my, that's what my thinking was. Just because I saw it and I was like, hmm, okay. Now, when I go to regular Goodwills, I don't care about a Vera Bradley bag. 
I really don't because a lot of times they're extra used and stuff. And the prices are like $14.99 just to buy it. Even sometimes higher. Just to just to get it from Goodwill. And um but and you know, I love me a lily bloom. I'm always looking for those. But um at the bins, it's a different story, <laughs> you know, so that's why I got that. And I got this to sell. It's a Vera Bradley. It's like a duffel bag. It's in great condition. It's so pretty. I love the, I love this um, pattern and the colors. And then look at the inside. It's so good. It's just totally clean. And I mean, I would definitely say, you know, probably give it a wash. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, yes, I'm not saying I don't know. Um, but yes. And then this is like on the side, there's a pocket, you know, good for a phone or something. And then, um, nothing on that side though, but it's, I mean, like this could be like a, you know, like if you go on a trip, this could be like your, um, your purse, uh, or your bag that you take on the plane. Maybe, I don't know. Anyhow, or, you know, like go away for a night or two. It is just, I loved it. And I thought, you know what? If it doesn't sell, that's something I don't mind keeping. I think it'll sell, but, you know, what do I know? Um, I also got, oh, oh, oh. wait till you see this. Woohoo! <laughs> Some bubble wrap, because yes, I get it when I see it. There. It's like free. <laughs> and then there, it had a little bit of this in there, too. What the heck? You know what? It's all, it all works. And, um, it's not the first time I've gotten that at the bins. <laughs> uh, so then, um, this, okay, so I did get, I got this and I'm going to take it out and I have to, I'm going to take this Goodwill sticker off because I got to see what's underneath. Okay. Um, so this is from Marshall Fields and people that, were that new Marshall Fields loved Marshall Fields. I always knew it was like rich store, you know? And like, if we went to, um, Chicago, like that was the place to go, like the fancy store and stuff, you know, and like the Christmas place and everything that they talk about. So this, I get, I, I, I pick it up and I, you know, I'm looking at it. And I see this, you know, and that's when I saw, you know, Marshall Fields, regards. And then it, it the name the, who, and the address of whoever it was sent to was scratched out. And then it says 111 North State Street, Chicago, Illinois. Right? So that's this, you know, where it came from. And it's in this, this, like, cardboard thing, okay? And probably this was stuck under there, I'm going to guess. Yeah, it, it has the circle mark on it. So, yeah. So, it was, it was under this um, thing. So, I, I look at it and I'm like, oh, these might be just like good bags, good gift bags. So, I pull it out, right? It's, you know. And I then I thought, are they those luminarias or whatever? I don't know. And then I thought, well, I don't know if there was like, a note with this. Look, they're all like coming up. If there were notes with these to say that they were the luminarias or whatever, because they're, you know, they're this like, they're like a sandwich bag or I mean a lunch bag size or maybe a little bit smaller than a lunch bag. And they're red. Okay. And they're, um, they have all these stars that I mean, I guess then you would maybe pull out whatever you wanted to pull out of it, right? Like that. And then you maybe could make your own design by just pulling out some of them on some of them and more on others and less on others and, and just make your own, you know, make them each individual. Again, I don't know if they were meant to be used as those luminarias because they do have a certain thickness to them. On the bottom, it says Sample House, Dallas, Texas. I don't know what it's all about. But all I know is 
that there were, there are one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, they're thick-ish, you know, six of them. And again, like, I'm sure that that was like just a cool thing to get in the mail. Like that, like you, maybe that was like for credit card holders. And maybe some of you are sitting there going, oh yeah, I got that. Or, oh yeah, I remember my mom or my aunt or whatever getting those. So yeah, I don't know. And I thought, that's cool. I'll grab those. Um, this is a pack of thank you cards. Um, again, you know how I grab most, most of the time when I see a thank you card package. Um, if it's a good price, I will get it. And, um, this was at the bins. So definitely good price. And, um, it's, uh, their Hallmark thank you notes, um, thank you cards for a gift actually. Oh, it actually says, thank you for the Christmas gift and thought behind it too. It really meant so very much because it came from you. So, um, I'll just use these next year at Christmas time. Then I got this. I love because it's, I love the colors, the pink and orange. I love that. And they are, um, Christmas Carol books, which I have, um, sold these before. As a matter of fact, I think I've probably sold this very book one or two times. So, you know, maybe I won't sell it. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I will sell it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they got all the, I mean, they've got such good graphics, you know, and the colors are really cute, but yeah, I, um, yeah, so I, I like that. Then I got this and it'll be, I'll be having this at my booth, um, in my little Valentine's area, um, because I thought it was funny. So there are other books, um, that, you know, I'll just show you real quick. <laughs> and, um, this was not, nobody wrote on it or in it or whatever. So, um, this is from 1989. So I'm going to have this in my booth. And if it doesn't sell on Sunday, then I'll, it'll probably be in next week's sale. So, yeah. <laughs> and then, looky. Oh, my goodness. And it has its tag. Oh, I love. I love him. I have. And look at this scarf even has his name on it. And I have the, the, um, elephant from the Island of Misfit Toys. The only thing is, like, he, his nose needs to be cleaned, and I'll probably have to, like, do a little touch-up because this is, you know, I'm not the only one that's probably tried to scratch it off and just scratched into it, but I'll clean that off and just, like, touch it up with a marker, and um, I don't care. He's so cute and little, so I'm real happy with that, and then... um I, this, this was the first thing I found and I, first of all, I did not even put it on. So there it is on. It's cute for, you know, for Christmas, which is past. Um, these bells are so cute and I sold a lot of bags of bells like these. So they would be really cute in bracelet form. Well, not too many of them, you know, cause then it would just be annoying. But, um, so I just thought, well, I'll throw that in for next year. I also got this um, ball of string slash twine just because it probably cost me all of two cents and um, because it's like the kind of thing that you can use but you don't think about it until it's too late. <laughs> this, I don't know what. It says original by B-A-M-B, periods after each one. And it's copyrighted. I'll have to do some searching. And 
it's like, I don't know if this is that kind that's made out of that salt dough or what. And then this is like hardened, probably with starch or something, this like lace. But look at it. I thought, oh man, somebody could really flip over her. Look at her little purse even. I, uh, yeah. And you know, sometimes you think, how do you see that in the bins? Oh, because I go all the way to the bottom. That's why. I always grab a box. See, this is just a box from some jewelry. Um, from Lucky Brand. Ooh. And, um, that's where I keep all the little things. And if I find stuff at the bottom, that's cool, like for a junk jar. But, um, but I did not, um, find anything cool like that this time but anyhow the last item I have to show you <laughs> I can't believe so it was a dollar 99 when they tried to first sell it at the Goodwill which you know again did they have it out long enough or who knows what the reason how it how these things go because I mean you see some of the things people find at the bins how did they make it to the bins you know what I mean so who knows really what the stories are, but look at it. I'm keeping this. So, um, I'm going to try to clean it up. It's a little icky, but these are, you know, these are, um, emblems, uh, you know, decals put on there. And, um, so I don't know if that goes with the Mary Mushrooms or not, but it's got that kitchen grease on there, so I'll be trying to clean that all up. And you know what? Even if it doesn't, I've got a. I, it's more. It's better if I just keep it rather than try to sell it. You know what I mean? Um, and it's got hooks on it that will be for. Um, well, you know, for keys. But um, and you know, and you know, sometimes you do need to just hang keys there. But um, you know, maybe I could end up putting like a some cute little things, you know, all the doodads we have, right? So I thought that was really neat. I was psyched. And it's already got the, you know, little hangy ding, hangy things on the back. So that's it. That is my haul from the Goodwill bins. And I'm pretty si excited about it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, and for, especially for two hours and hardly not, not real, real slim, pretty slim pickings for hard goods. Um, uh, mostly I would say, uh, 60, no, even maybe more, <laughs> maybe 70% of the, um, hard goods are actually like, no, even more than that, even maybe 80% are toys, toys and, or stuffed animals. And I found a, a, a Garfield today from 1981 that was like this big but he had some spots on him and I don't know how to clean and I'm not trying to mess around with washing a stuffed animal right now um but then later on I found Odie and I was like oh man I maybe should have but that's okay because this was good for now <laughs> so um anyway yeah out of all this stuff the only things that are going to be in my sale tomorrow are going to be the books and that you're not even seeing. One of which is a 1973 yearbook from a nearby community. So, um, I thought that was kind of fun. And, um, the other ones are just older books in vintage books. One of them's Bambi. So if it didn't sell, which I just had Bambi recently, an old book. And it looks a little different. So, um, anyway, that's it. Um, yeah. Um, give me a yell if there's anything that you're interested in. And, uh, otherwise, if you don't mind, just give me a thumbs up on here. And, uh, make sure you're subscribed. So, uh, that's it, really. Thank you so much and have a great weekend. Bye.